This is really exciting. And we are days from Purim. And the most important thing is seven till eight o'clock on Thursday of next week. Like a vote of the staff team. Who thinks we should carry on with this or who thinks we should do something else? Let's ask the staff tomorrow. Morning, everybody. How's everybody doing today? We wanted to get some feedback about uh, the Purim spiel. We want a long-term view. Do you think it's sensible to do staged the spiel on Thursday night? Well, I thought it was quite funny, but I think at this stage, let's just try and keep it simple and not do anything too complicated. Always so much wisdom. As the Jew in the pew, I love it because I love stage, but I think you need to cut some of the banter. I think it might just irritate everybody. Do you think Sarah just said that we were a bit annoying? I feel like that's exactly what Sarah just used this opportunity for, yeah. I, d- I don't think that some of us are funny enough to, to feel that for the whole hour. Possibly it was okay for a two-minute clip, but I'm not sure that we'd all be able to pull it off for a whole Purim-related hour. I mean, we're just not that funny. I think I am funny enough. I never know if it's just me being the American that doesn't understand British humour, which it probably is, but I... I- I like tried to find so much of it funny and I just couldn't and I'm so sorry and I'm feeling very validated by this conversation. I didn't have a clue what was going on really. So I don't know if you need to make it a bit more simple because I was confused. I think if you haven't watched staged you're not gonna get it. I thought it was really funny. Was there enough Purim in it? I was gonna say was there enough Jewish in it? Just raised concerns to me costume wise. It didn't feel like there was as much opportunity to dress up. Listen, am I really saying that no one commented on my Queen of Hearts headdress that I made? Yeah, that is maybe what I'm saying. Should we make it more Purim? Nice that someone is keeping Purim in sight. I thought it was funny, but I think, you know, we're an inclusive community and it didn't seem to be very representative because everyone that was in staged the Purim spiel was a human and I felt like actually there are plenty of non-humans but we're actually kept out of it because they are too quote-unquote loud too quote-unquote licky that needs to be improved and also non-animate things could have been included as well. Elliot thank you for speaking on behalf of the furry members of our community and also on behalf of all of the inanimate objects in our community. So the staff team didn't sound that complimentary. This is not the Purim spiel. This is the little fun teaser we realised we couldn't deliver. Probably need to have moments of interaction. And something that you don't have to have watched a slightly obscure programme for in order to understand what's actually going on. We haven't been ambitious enough and we actually have to get staged in. So maybe we should contact David Tennant and Michael Sheen and see if they will do Purim for us. Then it will really look like we've worked super hard on this. What is your David Tennant connection? I stole both his hearts when I was younger. Not very good. Absolutely brilliant. I have no idea what you're referring to there. We should scrap the staged thing uh, and come up with something completely different. Okay then, what are we going to do instead?